Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to the next episode of Season 1 of The Haunting Hour. Last week we watched Fear Never Knox, which I think is like the halfway point of Season 1, if I've got my calculations correct or if my memory's correct. Uh, Fear Never Knox was a really good episode, it had the girl who played Alex in Modern Family, and she and her brother were kind of looking into the dad, the granddad who's um, a therapist and helps people overcome their fears. Thea's? Thea's? I don't know why I said it so weirdly. <laughs> and he turned, out he, had this, he turned out he had this box where he could like record you saying your fear, but then it kind of traps the fear inside it, but can also release it as well. And then we also had the awesome character, the fear itself, played by Christopher Heyerdahl. He was a really creepy actor. I love him. I've seen some love for him since I put the episode on Patreon as well. And I'm just excited to see what the season brings. That was definitely a highlight of the season. It's funny looking at the comments of the series so far because everyone's got different things that they love in different episodes. There's some episodes that everyone seems to think are really great. There's some episodes that are controversial, like Alien Candy. I really enjoyed it. A lot of people really didn't. So, interesting. And I'm really interested to see how my ranking at the end of the season goes because I feel like with Creeped Out, it was a lot easier as well because there were only 13 episodes of a season or are you afraid of the dark where this is 22 and it seems a lot more controversial as well so i'm excited for that this episode is called best friend forever so my feelings of this one are is maybe someone who's a friend or got a friend a best friend who dies <laughs> i know it's a bit dark already but bear with me and they come back as a ghost to haunt them because they want to be the best friend forever or they make friends with a ghost of someone that they didn't know but they become friends with that ghost and the ghost wants to kill them so they can be best friends forever. Something along those lines. I could be way off, as always. But hey, that's just my initial reaction to the title. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please let me know down in the comments below what you think. And subscribe to my channel for the rest of the series on The Haunting Hour. And there's a Patreon link down below if you want to watch the next episode early and help support the channel. It really, really does help me out. That should have been to Series 1, Episode 12. I was going to do 12. Series 1, Episode 12, Best Friend Forever. Nolan Gould, another Modern Family person. He plays um Luke. I'm not listening to anything <laughs> until I see you start eating. Sit down, Mom. Zach, we're in a hurry, and I still haven't finished putting on my face. But you always say presentation is everything. Okay, I'll give you A for effort. But we've been over this a million times. You haven't even heard my hypothesis. Nothing's made it through the first week with you. That hamster, and then the rabbit, and even that lizard. Let's not lose sight of the facts, Mom. The hamster ran away. Yeah, because you <laughs> left the cage door open, Jack. So whilst I feel for him, because I always wanted a dog as a kid, I know how bad if you can't take care of basic animals. But maybe having a pet isn't something that you're ready for. I can't prove yeah. I'm ready. I know I can. I saw you on World of Warcraft last night. But you never made it to Ice Crown Citadel. Guess you couldn't get a 25 man raid to take you there. Your life is so sad. What's this, like, nerd bully? <laughs> Categorically impossible. We're walking to the same class. Science fair is six months away. My mom says that early is on time. On time <laughs> is late, and late is idiotic. I have already completed two experiments. <sighs> I just need to decide which will be yours by a wider margin. <laughs> Lame project like you did last year. Oh, whilst it is like, oh yeah, another school episode with a bully, whatever. It's quite funny that he's like a nerd bully. Due to numerous complaints to the office. Worm killing is inhumane, Mr. Franklin. Yes, I'm well aware of your feelings on the matter, Sally. Now, moving on. Those, if Mr. Franklin asked you to dissect your dog in the name of science? Or your dog, or yours, or yours. See, I don't like insects and worms and stuff, but... I don't like them being killed just for experiments and stuff. It feels weird. I couldn't dissect my sweet little Phoebe. Can I go to the bathroom, Mr. F? Please. <laughs> He's like, get the hell out of my class. Do your homework. I'm giving you some wire and two metal rods. Attach the wire to the rods on one end and to the terminals of the six volt. Budget, come on. You can do it. I'm so proud of you. You kept them alive for a week. <laughs> that dog is so cute. Jack. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna bring something back to life. I don't know if that's how electricity works. Olsen? Surface, guys. You're gonna sure. love it up here. 
I promise. Like the worm stuff fine. Big plans for you. I mean, I don't know if that is what happens, but I think it probably does. But the zombie stuff? <laughs> what? Two holes enough for you guys? I think so. This is proof he can not, can't take care of something. He didn't even put holes in the thing for his worms. Are he and the zombie are gonna become best friends? Like the title. Okay. Okay. You guys need some water, and then this will be home moist home. Did you hear that? He's remembering to put holes in this time. Progress. Growth. Growth. <laughs> Grim. Hi, Olsen. I mean, the zombie looks cool. Like the actual design of him. I like the yellow eyes. He's got quite a good visual design. What is he doing? Okay. <laughs> Return his glasses for him because he wants to be friends. Good zombie. Good boy. Is he going to keep him as a pet? What's your name? What's happening? This is weird. <laughs> How about cheeky? Cheeky. You like that? Close, but not quite. I don't know how I feel about all this. That's alright, Cheeky. You'll get it. You like it, Cheeky? I'll take that as an affirmative. Oh, you're saying eat, aren't you? You're hungry. Would you really bring a zombie salad? Wouldn't you think, like, Bad meat? Zombie. You are so much better than a dog. Is this going to relate to the science fair that he's going to prove that he kept uh, brought someone back to life? This is weird. Come on. This cheese, it expired three weeks ago. Ranch dressing, it expired last May. Ooh, this lettuce is bad. These lemons are moldy. Well, maybe, rather than shouting at your kidneys, to clean your fridge out a bit more often, love. I'm your master now. So listen to what I say. You have to be a good zombie. And eating my mom is definitely bad zombie territory. So no more. That would be bad if she, if you ate your parent. I'll see you in the morning. Is that going to be strong enough to keep him tied up? Oh, he's not going to be in the bed, is he? <laughs> oh god, this is so this stupid this episode. <laughs> I told you I was strong enough. You're not allowed in the house, remember? Me? Is this supposed to say Jack? Jack. Do you ever wonder about the moral implications of having a dead person that you've brought back to life and is now your pet? This is becoming an everyday thing with you. Going to the bathroom is a normal, everyday thing. You're a science teacher. You should know that. Fine. Hurry back. We're discussing insect <laughs> digestion today. Whatever. What's the matter? <clears throat> I like this teacher. He's like, you worried that I might have come up with a better science fair project than you? I tossed and turned all night. Well, your science fair project is better than bringing a dead guy back to life. That's right. I'd be like, no, you didn't. Until you see, obviously, he, we know he did. <laughs> I thought maybe she was going to be up to something in the bathroom because they pointed out how often she goes. But no, she's just. Don't be shit. 
A spider. <laughs> I love his teacher. Back to your seats. Kill that thing! I can't kill him. He's already dead. That's not possible. You're right. None of this is possible, which means no one will believe you if you try to tell them. Come on, Jimmy. Here, boy. Watch it, you mental defect. Hey, I'm an A average. I have an A plus average. Where's your walking corpse? I don't know. He was here. So Love the insult. Yeah, watch it, you mental defect. Like Not true. You're like the David Blaine of mathletes. All flash and no flashcards. A hypothesis can never be proven. Dude. You put the sub in lack of intellectual substance. <laughs> Good scream, though. Have mercy. Don't eat my brain. It's my most prized possession. <laughs> Admit that I'm smarter than you. Yeah. But you're not. Admit that I'm smarter than you. But he's not. <laughs> okay, I swear you're smarter than me. I as much as this guy was like a little irritating at the start, the bully kid. I actually quite like him. I think he's right. At the end of the day, he is smarter than the other person. Yeah. Doesn't give me a right to be a douche about it. You know? Okay, cheeky. Let's go home. No, 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 no. He's gonna make him a zombie. Like the title. Mm. Yeah. Ew, uh. Oh, there's a woman as well. Oh. Let me go. You're his pet now. <laughs> okay, guys, that's my reaction to series one, episode 12, best friend forever. And I'm going to tip my hand a little bit here and just tell you from the start. I didn't particularly like that episode. There is good parts, which I will talk about. Overall, I just didn't really get on board with it. I found it a bit too cheesy for my liking. But we'll get to that. So the good stuff from the episode. I like Nolan Gould as an actor. I think he definitely got a lot better as he got older. I always liked him as the fun little brother character in Modern Family. But Nolan Gould in general is quite a fun actor as a kid. And he he's always really fun to watch. And I liked the the guy who was the, the nerd bully. Like I said before, initially I thought he was annoying, but fun in like a bully, but a different type of bully sort of way. Like, you couldn't get this far in World of Warcraft. Like that kind of bully. But I actually quite enjoyed the actor. He was really good and really fun. I liked it. His scream was great. The way he was like, you're not! <laughs> when he said, tell me I'm the smartest person in school. But you're not! I enjoyed that. And there were some fun bits here. Like, I guess if you're looking for an episode that's not scary, that's a bit more light-hearted, easygoing, this is definitely one to watch, because it is more of a funny episode. Watching him trying to hide the zombie, get the zombie in through school, and keeping the zombie on the lead, and all that bit where the, the fridge door opened and hit the jaw, and the door, jaw flew out. That's all quite fun. I guess for me, I just didn't particularly care <laughs> about what was going on. Like, a good episode of the show... Take the, the pilot, really you, right? Spooky doll stuff is was well, generally quite creepy anyway, but what really worked for that episode is that you really cared about this little girl and her family. More so the girl in particular and the brother. You really wanted the girl to sort things out. Initially, you didn't like the girl, but as, this, as the episodes progressed, you, you kind of felt for her and was on more her side. And you wanted her to sort things out and expose the doll because she was getting framed for everything. So all that emotional stuff with the, the family made the episode and the scares worth it. In this one, I just didn't really care about anything that was going on. As much as I like Nolan Gould as an actor, the, the boy and his relationship with his mother, I didn't care about. Like His mum was like, you can't have a pet because they're always dying, which to me is fair. <laughs> like, Why well, give someone a dog if they can't even keep a fish alive, a bird alive? Did they say hamster, maybe? I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, so the fact that he was like being a bit of a brat about it was kind of understandable from a kid point of view but also kind of I'm on the mum's side because if you can't take care of an animal well then don't give him a duck you know <laughs> so there was that and he was trying to get one over the big the better guy at school and be the one who won the science fair but it appeared like whilst that guy was annoying he was actually smarter and better anyway 
So it's like, frustrating that he's always better, but if you're not actually smarter, then what are you trying to prove? And that sounds stupid because I know it's all about getting one over the, the bully character. I, I guess just the zombie stuff. I can see why it's fun and why people probably like this episode. It just wasn't for me. Um, the way he brought the zombies back to life or the person turned the person into a zombie, I thought it was silly. Like the electrodes on the ground, fine. But then it zapped across the, the cemetery all the way over to that particular coffin, grave, and brought him to life. But then the question becomes, if he only just came to life through those means and was pretty much with... Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Nolan Gould's character the whole time. Where's the crypt with the cage and the mum come from? You know? Is that just me looking for plot holes? I don't know. But like, he was dead. Nolan brought him back. To, I'm going to call him Nolan because I can't remember. Brought him back to life. He stayed with him the whole time because so he wouldn't leave his side. Even got into bed with him. At what point did the mum come into it? I don't know. Like I said, I'm probably just missing something here. I, I liked the ending. I thought the ending was fun. How it turned out that whilst Nolan's character was... Trying to get a pet all along and made the zombies pet. The zombies plan all along was to make him a pet. I do think there is plot holes with how the storyline works out, the timeline. But I like the ending and the twist was quite fun. Seeing Nolan in, in the cage as the pet. Um, but for me, in general, this, just this episode, I can see the fun side of it. But it was probably one of the weakest episodes of the season for me. I just didn't really get on board with it. I apologise if you love this episode. That's good. I wish I did. But yeah, for me, it was just a pretty weak episode. Overall. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Hoped that uh, you kind of understood my point of view. As always, my name is Scott. Hope you guys are well. Taking care of yourselves and staying safe. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know down below what you thought of the episode and the reaction. Did you enjoy it more than I did? Or am I in the minority? Because, like with Alien Candy, I was in the minority. I thought that was really good. This one, I might be in the minority for thinking it was pretty weak. Let me know down below what you think. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you all soon for the next episode of The Haunting Hour Season 1. Bye, guys. Uh, take care.